When you're working with Excel pivot tables, sometimes you're just looking at them on the screen, but occasionally you may have to print them. And when printing, it's easier to print the information if it's listed vertically down the page instead of too wide. And in this table, we've got three value fields. So these are for work orders, and we've got the hours, the cost of the labor, and the parts cost. And it's right now a small pivot table, so this would be no problem to print. But we're going to add another field across the top in the columns. The field that I'm going to add is service. And I want it in the columns area, so we'll just drag it down above that value. So we see the service is an assessment or a delivery, and we can see the hours and costs for each of those. But now it's quite wide, and if I went to print this, it would be across a couple of pages. Instead of putting the value fields across the pivot table, we can change them so that they go down. I'm going to take the values field and drag it from the columns area below the month in the rows area. Now we can see the same information, but the pivot table is much narrower. It stops in column G. And under each month, we can see hours, labor cost, and parts cost. So it does go down the page, but it's a much easier layout to print. So if you're going to print, take a look at moving the values from the columns to the row area, and that layout might work better for that purpose. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.